Hey everybody, Dave from Oliver here, and today I'm going to be showing you Oliver Sites. So if you're somebody who loves the flexibility and the affordability of WooCommerce, but wishes that you could marry that to a more Shopify-like experience where you have more pre-configured for you, you have more that's managed for you, meaning that you don't have so much on your own two shoulders, then Oliver Sites is for you. Let me explain. So the first way that Oliver Sites makes good on that promise is with the hundreds of available WooCommerce templates. All of these templates are fully modifiable with the Elementor page builder, which is one of over 70 WordPress plugins that Oliver Sites makes available to you at no extra cost. And version controlling is taken care of, guaranteeing no plugin conflicts, and also making sure that you stay in sync with Oliver POS and Kiosk. And many of these WordPress plugins are premium plugins, which normally you would have to pay a license fee for to a third party vendor. Not so with all of our sites. And if we scroll through the template gallery, we can take a look at all the different templates that are available, all of which again are fully modifiable with Elementor. On top of that, guys, you get a commerce first dashboard, which actually looks and feels like an online store manager rather than just an e-commerce extension tacked onto a publishing platform. And you get with it an overhauled inventory management system, which makes bulk editing your products much, much easier. All right, guys, with that said, let's just jump right into an Oliver site. But first, let me also mention that every Oliver site is hosted for you. So you don't have to look for hosting from a third party provider. Uh, it's already provided out of the box. So without further ado, let's rearrange these numbers and launch the Oliver site admin dashboard. This is meant to replace the WordPress admin dashboard. And as you can see right away upon launching it, my WooCommerce store is made front and center. I see an overview of the most important analytics for my store, everything from revenue to orders to AOV, and my products, my orders, my analytics, my users are all more clearly visible and accessible. So if we just compare side by side here, guys, you can see that with all of our sites, you have all these different sub menus from link variations to frequently bought together, bulk products, uh, that's for bulk editing, uh, reviews, wish lists, much more so than uh, the more bare bones product sub menu in WordPress. And so let's make this front and center. Let's go to all products here, click into a product, and we can see as we scroll down, there's a lot more to customize for every product should we so choose. And on top of that, if we go to all products again, and we go to the bulk editor page, you can see here that I have a spreadsheet style way of editing all my products, saving me the hassle of having to download a CSV uh, and make bulk product updates from there, or getting uh, a third party spreadsheet style plugin that lets me make uh, the changes to product names, uh, prices, or stock. Jumping over to the media section of all of our sites, we have a royalty-free asset library of over 6 million images, which you can use to get stock images for your product catalog. And you can see here that it's drawing on stock images from Unsplash, Openverse, Pixabay, Pexels. So if we just try it out and type in pizza, 4,321 stock images for pizza are showing up, all of which can be used royalty-free. Although there's a lot more to cover, the last thing I'll show you guys for now is how easy it is to launch Oliver POS from an Oliver site. So at any point while browsing the dashboard of my Oliver site, I can click this button. It will take me to the Oliver Bridge page from which I can launch the Oliver Hub, where I do all the configuration that I need to for Oliver POS. Or alternatively, I can launch the Oliver Register straight from here. And as soon as I put in my pin, I'm now at the screen from which I can make transactions. My simple and variable products are being loaded here straight from my Oliver site. And the categories I've set up are also properly loading in. 
So with that said, uh, that is a quick glimpse at all of our sites. There's more to cover and uh, we'll be making more content soon about the different features in all of our sites. But I hope that was helpful just as a an introductory look at all of our sites and why it could be useful for you. Thanks very much.